안녕하세요 이비티비이비입니다 오늘은 The Solar System 책을 읽을 거예요. 이거는 오디오북으로 사용하세요. The Solar System In space, the Earth is a planet. It's a huge round lump of rock floating in space. The Earth is one of the eight planets that travel around the sun. The sun and the planets are called the solar system. This is what the Earth looks like from space. What's out there? The planets in the solar system move around the sun. The sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, asteroid belt, which are pieces of rock called asteroids, asteroids travel around the sun too. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. The planets are shown close together on these pages. Really, they're very, very far apart. As well as planets, there are lots of other things that move around the sun, from specks of dust to dwarf planets such as Pluto. How it started. Scientists think that the solar system formed millions and millions of years ago. It began as a huge cloud of gas and dust in space, like this one. The swirling cloud of gas and dust slowly got thicker and thicker. Part of, part of the cloud heated up, making this hot ball of gas. This became the sun. Of over millions of years, the gas and dust spun around the sun. Gradually, the dust and gas joined together to make planets. In the middle. The sun is a massive ball of burning gas called a star. It gives the planet all of their light and heat. The sun looks so close, so big because it is closer to the earth than other stars. This is what surface looks like. Surface looks like close up. Jets of hot gas shoot out and fall back like back in long hoops. Some parts of the sun are not as hot as the rest. These are called sunspots. Huge explosions are known are known as solar flares. Never to look directly at the sun. The light is so strong it could damage your eyes. Moving planets. Each planet travels around its own path or orbit around the sun. They take different lengths of time to move all, of, all the way around. Earth takes 365 days and nights to orbit, uh, orbit the, the sun. This is one year. As the planets travel, they also spin around. When each planet spins, different parts have day or night. Light from the sun only shines on one side of the earth at a time. This part is dark because the sun's light cannot reach it. This is night. The parts facing the sun are lit up. This is the planet's day. Mercury. Mercury is, a planet, is, is the planet closest to the sun. Its rocky surface is covered with holes called craters. Most of these were made by, made by rocks crashing into the planet from space. Fast-moving rocks hit Mercury's surface, making deep holes. Lots of, lots, of rock, lots of rock and dust threw up around the holes. The rock and dust settled into thick layers around the craters. In this photo, you can see lots of round craters on Mercury's surface. The surface of Mercury's is more than four times hotter than boiling water. Hot planet. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. It is so hot it is covered in thick layers of clouds. This is the is this is the surface of Venus. The thick clouds make the sky look orange. The surface of planet, the surface of the planet is hard rock. 
The sun's rays pass through the clouds and the planet's surface warms up. The clouds stop the heat from escaping so the planet gets hotter and hotter. Venus is so hot its surface glows in the dark. Living Earth The Earth is made of rock and is surrounded by water and gases. It is the only planet where life is known to exist. The Earth has a right, mi- the Earth has the right mixture of air, heat and water for the things to live. The, a layer of gases around the Earth gives the living things the air they need to breathe. In this photo, you can see big lakes and high rocky mountains on Earth's surface. The sun warms the planet. P- plants grow in the, sun- in the sunlight, making food for animals. More than ha- half of the Earth is covered in water. Everything needs water to live. Bright at night. The moon is a big round lump of rock that moves around the earth. It is the brightest thing you can see in the night sky. There are millions of craters on the moon. In this photo, the biggest craters look like dark patches. As the moon moves, the sun lights up different parts of its surface. This is why the moon seems to change shape. When the side is facing earth, is when you when the side f- facing earth is lit up you can see that m- the moon as bright as a circle sometimes you can see part of the su- part of the side that is lit by the sun when the sun shines behind the moon you can't see the bright side so it looks dark in 196 in 1969 astronauts landed on the moon in a spacecraft The red planet. Mars is a cold and rocky planet. Its surface is covered with red dust. Scientists have sent vehicles called rovers to Mars to take photos of the surface. The rover was packed inside the spacecraft and flown from Earth to Mars. Airbags protected the spacecraft as it landed on the planet surface. This is a photos this is a photo of Mars photo taken by a rover. Dust storms on Mars can la- last for months. A spacecraft opens up and scientists send signals out to drive the rover out. The rover drove around sending information back to scientists on Earth. Gas giant. Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system. It is a round, round, is a huge round mass, mace mostly made from gases. The stripes you can see here are bands of different gases. Jupiter has over 60 moons moving around it. All the moons are made of rock and ice. Phoebe is not round like most moons. Its surface is covered with huge craters. The rocky surface of Europa is completely covered in a layer of ice. Ganymede is the biggest moon in the solar system. It is bigger than Mercury. There is a huge storm on Jupiter that has been raging for thousands of years. Ringed planet. Saturn is a huge planet, mainly most of gases. It has millions of pieces of rock and ice moving around it. From far away, these look like solid rings. The photo was taken from a spacecraft that scientists sent to fly in Saturn. In 1997, a rocket took off from Earth. It was controlled by computers. When the rocket was far above the Earth, a probe flew away from it. The probe reached Saturn and started to fly around and around the planet. It sent close-up pictures of Saturn and its rings back to the Earth. Distant planets. Uranus and Neptune are huge gas planets. This is Uranus. It has faint rings around it and millions of specks of dusts. 
Uranus spins differently from the other planets. It looks as if it, looks as if it has been knocked on its side. Mm. Neptune is a very cold and stormy planet. This dark blue swirl is a storm raging on the planet. Beyond Neptune, there was a dwarf planet called Pluto. Experts used to think it was a planet, but they changed their minds. Exploring the sky. Scientists find out about the solar system by using huge telescopes that let them see that things are very far away. The telescopes shown here are in Hawaii, USA. They use big curved mirrors mirrors to make things that are far away look a lot bigger. There are some telescopes that travel around the Earth in space. 1. Scientists on Earth send signals to point the telescope at a planet. 2. The telescope takes pictures of the planet and stores them in a computer. 3. The computer sends the picture the computer sends the picture as signals to huge radio dis- dishes on Earth. 4. The information is sent to computers that turn them into pictures of, of the planets. Glossary. Here are some of the words in this book you might not know. This page tells you what they mean. Planet, a huge mass of rock or gas in space that moves around the sun. Asteroid, asteroid, a lump of rock that moves around the sun. Orbit, the path of something as it goes around some something else. Crater, a round hole on its planet or moon made by a rock crashing into it. Rover, a, a computer-controlled vehicle that drives across the planet. Probe, a computer-controlled spacecraft sent to explore space. Telescope, something that makes things that are far away look bigger. Um, that this book is a bit hard to understand. So if you don't understand everything, you can watch it a few, um a couple of more times. Bye bye.